Hi guys, this is your weekly energy reading for the week of December 16th through the 22nd, I believe. Um, so we're going to look at the earth, air, fire, water energy. So correlate that with your sun, moon and rising signs to see what the vibe or what the energy is going to look like for your week ahead. So we're going to begin with the earth signs. Um, so earthies, we have commune with nature commune with nature, grounding, and the sun. Now, off the bat, you guys, my earth signs, you guys are needing to really utilize your own energy this week. You are earth vibes. You guys um, thrive in the sunlight. You thrive in nature. You thrive in the outdoors. You really, really need to give yourself that this week, okay? Um communing with nature is becoming one with nature becoming one with yourself in nature so a lot of a meditation time a lot of just sitting sitting in peace and quiet i challenge my earth signs to turn off your phones um either when you're spending time in nature or challenging you to just like go a solid hour even you know those of you who struggle with your phone time go a solid hour without your phone literally just turn it off Put it in another room so you're not tempted to touch it um, and really get yourself back into the zone, like back into that grounding energy of um, being one with yourself and being comfortable with being with yourself and not always having to be on social media. The sun card is, is asking you to embrace your own true happiness. What, what really, like to rediscover, I feel, rediscover what really makes you happy, what really makes you whole and feel good and connected and, and, and all of the above with yourself. Um, so this is a week for you guys to really do that. Some of you guys may feel that this is a solo week for you. Um, others of you may feel that this is something that you can do with someone else. Um, but whatever the case, I feel like there is a need for grounding so dealing with the root chakra this week but also doing that with outdoors activities sitting outside turning off the phone not paying much attention to the social media the news the tv those 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 digital electronic distractions really focus more on yourself and and being one with nature and honestly embracing your true inner happiness okay so good week for my earth signs my air signs, we have abundance, we have angels and masters, and the emperor. So air signs, you guys are on top of it this week. You guys are feeling the flow. It's definitely the flow with that abundance card. You guys are feeling the flow, feeling like you are receiving. Some of my air signs are receiving answers for long-awaited questions. Some of my air signs are going to see some finalities happening. Some of my air signs are also, you guys are going to be feeling like you are in charge, okay? Or you're not going to be as afraid to take control and to, to be that emperor energy, that leader, that authority figure in your life or in someone else or in your relationship dynamic or your work, whatever it is. There's going to be a lot of taking initiative this week for you guys. That's going to be really important. The key, though, is with the Angels and Masters card, we have all seven chakras here. They all need to be aligned and healthy. So in order for my air signs to feel like you can, you know, do much with the abundance that you're receiving and to feel like you can be in an, in an authoritative role this week, um, you guys need to be energetically put together, energetically equaled and balanced out. So making sure that you're doing that. You can do that with a meditation. I, and I suggest doing it tonight so that you're ready for tomorrow, Monday. Um, so doing it tonight, doing a chakra balancing meditation, aligning all of your energy fields, um, cleansing yourself, holding those crystals that make you feel balanced and put together. Um, whatever makes you feel aligned and 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 balanced within yourself, a good healthy meal, um, you know, making healthy plans, not not giving in to the toxicities, your those those toxic um people or toxic foods or activities that you know that will just drain you and bring you down. You really want to embrace more of the inner power of yourself. So really good week for you guys. You have potential to be really good leaders this week, but there needs to be a balancing out of your energies. And so that's going to be very, very much important for you guys. My fire signs, you guys have live in harmony with the mystery. Live in harmony with the mystery. Personal power, the sacral chakra, 
and we have five of pentacles. So my fire signs, though times may be tough, though you may be running a little bit low on funds, um, it's the holiday season, we're spending our money, um, that kind of thing. Maybe you're going through something, um, so there's a little bit of a rough time, a rough patch that you're hitting. Personal power is saying you are going to power through it. So if you are going through something troublesome or you just feel like you're being hit left and right with stuff, you're going to get through it. Um, your sacral chakra needs to be strong. This is telling me for this week, your sacral chakra is the the chakra it's the energy point in your abdomen this is your creation point this is your ability to be um motivated and whatnot to be charged so you're going to want to pay a lot of attention to the sacral chakra this week um and then also tell yourself that you know you have to remind yourself you got you who you you got yourself where you are right now you can get yourself out of anything so if you guys are struggling if there's a financial struggle or if there's maybe you're going through something with someone in your life um, you're in the outs with a friend or you're just not feeling work or whatever the case may be. It'll be different for each of you guys. Just know that you are going to be your power source. You can get yourself through it. So it's very important that you guys, um, that you guys are present for yourselves. Okay. And by doing that, you know, charging your sacral chakra and, and doing things of, um, participating in activities or, or putting yourself in environments or around people that make you motivated. Okay. Um, the, the card of live in har harmony with the mystery for my fire signs, sometimes you can't know what's to come. Okay. Sometimes you guys can't know, you can't expect it. You can't, you can't have like a hint. Okay. Sometimes you have to be willing to walk, like literally walk your path without knowing what's going to happen and you have to trust. And that's how you live in your personal power. So this is a, this is going to be one of those weeks, my, my loves, where you're going to be challenged. You're going to be tested to see how much of the faith do you have in yourself and in your ability, your personal power to get through some of the more difficult times. This is temporary though. Five of pentacles is temporary whenever it pops up for us. So it's not something to be super alarmed with. Um, but just know that you guys, can get yourself out of it so it's not the end of the world hang in there you guys will be fine and my water signs we have the sacred no <laughs> we have family in the root chakra we also have the hangman water signs you are literally being guided this week to not do not meddle in things. Do not get involved, especially if this has to do with family, okay? Do not get involved. Um, the sacred no, do not allow yourselves to be put into situations you do not want to do. If you are not feeling called to it, if your intuition is just telling you say no, say no, you need to learn. You need to learn to say no, you guys. I struggle with that myself. So this is a week where there's going to be an opportunity that may happen. Someone might invite you to do something. There might be something coming up this week that I'm already kind of seeing it in my mind's eye. Like I know what that's going to be for me. <laughs> but something's going to happen. And my water signs are you guys are going to be challenged to say no, especially if you're not feeling it, you don't want to do it because the more that you get yourselves involved in activities, things, and being around people that you just don't want to be around, you're going to put yourself in a crappy mood and a crappy situation, something that you could totally avoid had you known the power of no. Okay. Um, the family card is making me feel like for some of my water signs, not all of you guys, but this will have to do with the family. Okay. People who are really close to you. Um, also, it's the root chakra, so my water signs, make sure you ground this week, tonight especially, to get ready for the week, okay? And pull a crystal out that is really good for you to work with for grounding and root chakra. I personally recommend um, smoky quartz. That's my favorite. That's my go-to, so... Definitely going to be putting a smoky quartz in my purse. And then also water signs. You guys got the hangman. The hangman is all about to me. He's going with the flow. He's not making any major decisions right away. He's not, you know, he's not picking one or the other. If you're caught between two people, family, a family dispute, you guys have just, instead of having a voice and instead of having an opinion, just kind of <laughs> don't get involved. And the hangman is just kind of saying, observe. Okay, this is a week of observing, not a week of getting involved and putting yourself in a situation that you would otherwise not want to be in. Anyways, my loves, this looks to be a really good week. Some of us have a little bit of a challenge, but other than that, I wish you guys a beautiful week. Enjoy yourselves, and we will be back for another weekly energy reading next week. Bye, loves.